There's been a lot of talk lately about human beings going to Mars, but many still think that's unlikely. It would take so many resources to get there and back, and who on Earth would be crazy enough to go and potentially never come back? Well, all of these questions got us thinking. What exactly would it take to get human beings to Mars? So first of all, getting the rocket from here to there. What are the yeah. challenges associated with that? Right, so, so right now we can't do that. You have to launch something like 20 to 40 of these big Saturn V rockets just to get the fuel up into space, into low Earth orbit first. So you very quickly run into this scenario where the whole operation becomes more expensive than the total budget NASA has ever been given. What my lab is working on is working on a replacement propulsion that would get there much more efficiently. I think we could develop the necessary technology in several years, so maybe three to five. But once we're there, how are we sustaining life there? So that, that's a big question. Uh, NASA hasn't talked too much about the whole colonization process, but there's this Mars One colony TV show that wants to sort of kickstart the process into into full-scale colonization and, and long-term habitation. <laughs> they, they will need some, some, some technical help to make this possible. The real technology investments that will have to be made to make this possible will be in, in resource collection. So you need to collect water, you need to collect oxygen, and you need, need to build your habitats. And what do you think about that aspect of it, the media spectacle aspect of it, right? The fact that this is going to be a reality show of sorts. Yeah, right. It's probably the only way you could make this happen as a private company. Right. To, to, I mean, you need, you need a lot of public interest and you need a lot of advertising dollars continually flowing in. What is the, really the moral issues involved with maybe sending people and leaving them there? I mean, yeah. is that something we should so, do? I don't think a government would, would sponsor a trip to do that on purpose. Because governments have a space program, for many times for national pride, I think they would want to return these heroes, these astronauts, back to Earth I think you have to be a private entity like this right. Mars One group, but they're also very susceptible to changing market dynamics. If they, you know, do something poor on camera, or if the show's losing ratings, you know, they're dropping these people off, and they they meant to send us, you know, send a supply ship, but their funding got cut. So what happens then? Right, right. <laughs> and you're sort of, you know, left with these people stranded on Mars. Um, that that that's a whole other uh, question of, of moral implication for you know, sort of isolating these people. I mean, given all of that, what type of person would want to go? I don't think there will be a shortage of people that will, will sign up or will want to go. I mean, it, you sort of think back to, to your relatives or my relatives coming to the U.S. for the first time. They, they didn't have a lot of money. They were looking for a better opportunity. Um, there, were a lot of, there were a lot more resources at the time in the U.S. to, to be taken advantage of. I don't know that you can really say that about Mars, <laughs> if it's going to be a better life. Um, so, so you have to be willing to, to sign up for this program knowing that it won't be a better life for you, but it may be a better life and a better outcome for humans overall. In that, you're providing another sanctuary for human life to exist 